In this video, you're going to learn how you can deploy a pop-up through Google Tag Manager with the help of a tool called PaddyAct. All and more coming up, so let's dive in. Hi there, and welcome to another video of MeasureSchool.com, where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and today we want to talk about pop-ups or overlays that you can display on your website. And these are fairly common nowadays, but I got a viewer question asking if those could be deployed via Google Tag Manager. And in fact, these really consist just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and we can deploy such pop-ups through Google Tag Manager. Now this obviously alters the appearance of the website, and I would urge you to consider the consequences when it comes to deploying such codes through Google Tag Manager, because Google Tag Manager is not intended to be a content management system. It's really a tool for deploying marketing codes. And a better practice probably would be to deploy this with the website content itself and incorporate the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on the server side rather than through a tag management solution such as Google Tag Manager. Nonetheless, this video is just a proof of concept of showing you that it is possible to deploy such elements on your page through Google Tag Manager. And in some cases, it might be justifiable to do it through Google Tag Manager because such plugins really serve the purpose of doing this kind of on-site marketing. Now, we can obviously build such a pop-up through HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and deploy this all through Google Tag Manager. We would need to have a little bit of coding knowledge to do this, but there's much more to pop-ups that we would need to take care of. So I would highly recommend a tool called Paddy Act, which is not dependent on your backend technology, so it can be deployed on any website through Google Tag Manager, and it's able to take over all the logic that is connected to such pop-ups. So if you want to check that out, click the link below. And I will use this tool just because I don't want to reinvent the wheel by writing my own code in order to get all the functionality that Paddy Act already gives us and even over delivers by giving us much more functionality that might be necessary to deploy such a pop-up. And from here on out, it's pretty simple. You just need to open up an account and Paddy Act will actually give you a JavaScript code that you can install on your website. And this can be quite simply copied and then transferred into your Google Tag Manager. Let's build a new tag here. We'll use this for on-site marketing and the tool is Paddy Act and we'll deploy it on all pages. This will be a custom HTML tag. Let's paste that in, continue and choose the All Pages trigger. So now we can go into our preview and debug mode and can simply deploy a new pop-up through Paddy Act directly. So on Paddy Act itself, I have already made up a little campaign for our purposes. You can see that here. And now that we have our code installed, we can go on this preview button and see our little campaign. And on this side, Google Tag Manager loads, it deploys our Paddy Act script and deploys and shows us our pop-up. Now there are many different configurations that you can do. Far and foremost are the rules that you can choose to deploy this pop-up. And Paddy Act does a really great job of different rules that you can define, such as where the user came from, how often he has seen the pop-up, how often you wanna see it maybe in the session, if he has interacted with it or not. And of course, also the feature to target people who have an exit intent and are about to leave the website, which will trigger when the user tries to close the window. There are very sophisticated rules in here and we could model through Google Tag Manager as well, but these are already built into the system and very sophisticated. So I would urge you to look through them and see how you want to configure your display of your pop-up. We can choose to send our data to many different providers. So Paddy connects to any 
of the big email vendors out there. In our case, we're just gonna send it on to Pediac itself. And then you can also choose the visual presentation of your pop-up. If it should actually be a pop-up or a bottom slider or a left or right slider, that's something I would leave you to play around with. The only customization I wanna show you here is the style. Unfortunately, Pediac doesn't have many styles available and the available styles are probably not gonna suit your website. So I wanna show you a little trick. You can actually custom design your Pediac pop-up, which you simply need to add some CSS rules to CSS on your page. Now this could be done on the server side, but since we are working with Google Tag Manager, we can actually take this CSS here and paste it into our tag as well. So how would we do that? We go actually go back to Google Tag Manager and we can now add above the Pediact script some style tags. Be aware that since we are entering CSS here, we want to surround this with style tags. Now you could copy the default here and play around with the variables. And if you know CSS, you can easily build this into the shape and form that you want to have. I have something prepared already here. which suits the style of our website. And if you go and continue and save this all, let's refresh our preview and debug mode. And the important thing as well in Pediact, we would actually need to choose the naked style option here, the naked action, and apply this to our website. And now if you go into the preview of our campaign, we see our desired form of what we want our pop-up to look like. And let's get rid of this quick preview bar. We can just publish this as a version and leave our preview in debug mode. Let's refresh this. And we see our pop-up in its fullest. Now, if we put in an email address here, We would be registered. We would also get a thank you message here that our coupon is on its way. Now, another little trick I wanted to show you is how you can leverage this thank you message to send back data to Google Tag Manager and potentially on to other tools. So for example, what if you wanted to send data back to Google Analytics or to a retargeting tool that the user actually converted and put in his email address with the help of Google Tag Manager? We can do this by appending an advanced form of the Pediact code to our existing script. This is all explained also in the help section where you can embed extra functionality to your Pediact JavaScript code. So let's copy this here and head back to our Google Tag Manager code and below our actual Pediact script, we can now insert this piece of code. And here we can define what we want to happen after the user has hit subscribe. Since we are working with Google Tag Manager here, we can simply send in an event via the data layer. So we'll write a data layer function, which we can do with a data layer push. I have something prepared here as well. Where we send in an event Let's call this Pediac subscribe. And we can send another key pair value pair such as the email address. We have an example down here, how we can pass the email address here. It should be without quotes. This should push data into the data layer once somebody subscribed. Let's get rid of these examples here. Continue and save our tag. And again, let's try this out. Let's put in our email address. Subscribe. And we see that our thank you message appears, but at the same time down here, we see now our desired event, a Pediac subscribe event, and 
and in the data layer, we would also see the email address that was subscribed to. Now you could use this PADIACT subscribe event for a trigger to trigger any kind of tag that you might want to fire into a retargeting tool, into Google Analytics, or your email marketing tool. Just be aware that the email address should not be used with, in conjunction with Google Analytics because it's against the TOS to send in any personal identifiable information into Google Analytics. So that's already it with this week's video of measuresgoogle.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna check out PadiAct, please follow the link below. My name is Julian, till next time.